An absorption spectrum is a series of dark lines, okay, but this time on a colored background. Now, the absorption spectrum serves the same purpose as an emission spectrum. It is meant to help us identify what is the nature of this vapor over here. However, the means or the method in which it's created is slightly different. So what is different now is that I first need to have white light over here. And so as we all know, white light consists of a whole bunch of photons. Okay, And these are the whole bunch of photons coming over here. Okay, Ranging, of course, within the colored light spectrum, 400 to 700 nanometers. So what is important also is that this has to be cool vapor. And so if I look at the energy level diagrams, if it's cool, we expect most of the electrons to occupy the lower levels. So when all these photons come in, there is going to be some photon for everyone, right? Somebody will be able to absorb a photon exactly equal to this. Somebody will be able to absorb a photon exactly equal to this or this or this, so on and so forth. And so we say that photons of specific wavelength are being absorbed. And so what is left over here are all the other photons that did not get absorbed. And then these guys will then diffract to form what is a colored spectrum, basically your rainbow, everything, but with a few missing guys. And so these lines, the dark lines, would correspond to the wavelengths of the photons that got absorbed which are unique because they must correspond to these energy gaps. Therefore, by studying the absorption spectrum, we'll be able to identify what the energy levels are. And of course, we can then compare it to a known spectrum to figure out the nature of this vapor over here. Now, when these electrons are excited, some of you may be able to point out that then they would then de-excite and then just release the very same photon which they absorbed. And so there is this worry that these photons would then just get released, come here and cover up the line. Well, this does not happen because remember that when the photons are released again, they do not necessarily have to go straight through the grating. They go in all directions. And so while some photons, of course, will go through the grating, a good number of them don't. And so these lines over here will still be significantly darker than the rest of the spectrum, and so are therefore still looking like dark lines. 